everyone. Um, so I'm really excited today because we've got something completely new and different. And that is this little Barbie. So this is Barbie Petite's Club. And I only found out about these recently. I might have been Instagram or somewhere. Um, and I saw these tiny little dolls. I really love miniature stuff. If you've been watching my channel a little bit, you know I love miniatures. You know I love dolls, all that sort of stuff. And like tiny dolls are just the cutest thing. So she looks like just a couple of inches tall. And I got this one off eBay, so these are actually quite old, um, 2008, so this is by Mattel, which obviously is a really popular toy company now, they're still going. So this is, you know, 11 years old, which doesn't seem like really old when you say 2008, but when you say it's like 11 years for like a toy that's like still new in packaging, that's pretty cool. Um, so I do love like vintage and just like older toys and toys like from my childhood. I don't remember having these, but I was born in 98, so by 2008. I was, what, 10, so I don't know if I was just getting a tiny bit too old for toys then, but now at 21, I'm not too old for toys, it's weird how things go around in cycles, um, but yeah, so I just want to open this today and let's have a little look at her, so it looks like she, the bo bottom's already kind of a little bit opened, um, it doesn't really say much about it actually, it just says collect and then like loads of different languages, I don't know if it's like they were made in the UK or what. Looks like there's a little collector's guide here, so we'll have a look at that. And on the back, we've got a couple of different designs. So I don't know if they're like the other dolls you can get. It's really weird with these as well because I saw there was like loads of different names for them. So there was like Barbie Petite's Club, and also like Barbie Mini B and Barbie Peekaboo, and they were like all very similar. But I think they're slightly different, like variations of the tiny dolls. But let's get on with it. So let's open this one up. So. Cool, so it just literally peels off. Okay, so here's our little guide. So I'm so excited to look at this. That's really cute. This looks pretty big actually. Oh my god, there's loads. So this was actually number 100. So at the bottom here, it does actually say number 100. So I'm assuming this is probably going to go through all of them. And there's probably, there might have been more depending on, you know, when this checklist was made. Oh, cool, so it sort of folds out. Oh my god, this is so nice. Wow, okay, awesome. So, looking at the first row, we've got sort of like ballerina style ones, um, and then like little teapot ones in the next row. Um, and then ones like, oh my god, like bride style ones. I love these two. That's so nice. And then what are those? Ones in like little gems, and ones in roses at the bottom. Wow. So that takes us up to number 25, and then, if we skip a few, does this fold out more? We go from like 25, 26, and then it just like jumps to 61. Who knows? So there's some like ice cream fiend ones, the ones in the shoe. Oh my god, these are so cool. Cupcake style, so they come in all like little cases. Oh, I love these. Just look at this checklist. There's like so many I'd love to get. I really like the ones with the ballerina shoes. The ones in the roses look pretty cute as well. And um, little mermaid ones and stuff. So cool. So I don't know why the checklist jumps. I feel like I've like not folded it properly, but that's like as far as it folds out. So it just goes from like 30 to 61. But okay. Um, those are so cool. Look at those two. Ice cream themed. Oh my god. Okay, so let's see the one we've got. So she just comes in a little plastic case in. Um, and what we've got here, so like a little ring. So that's quite cute. So it's a little ring and then it comes with like a little gem that can adjust in. I don't know if you can like put something else in, in the ring instead. Or if they're just interchangeable. So obviously that's not really going to fit me. Although it does stretch a little bit. There we go. <laughs> ah, that's all my circulation. Okay, and then we've also got this tiny little comb, so that's really cute. And then let's try and get our doll out. So I'm not gonna lie, her hair feels like straw. I don't know if it's just because it's like a bit old or what, but actually it looks like we might need to get the whole shoe out as well. Wow, okay. Smells like strong, like rubbery plastic. I don't know why I always sniff stuff. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Like you get something, you just like have to smell it. Doesn't smell of like smoke or anything though, so that's good. So here's the shoe. So obviously it's sort of a 
translucent blue um, and sparkly glitter. I hope you can hear me alright by the way. I have got the fan on. I've shut the window so you can't hear like people outside and stuff and all the motorbikes and cars. But the fan is on so it might be a little bit noisy but hopefully you can hear me alright. And then obviously that little stand there where we can stand her in. So let's have a look at her. So it looks like, oh, okay, so she's got super skinny little legs and this little skirt that I just took off her. And it looks like you can just sort of slide that on. So that's quite cute. And then her, her legs and arms can't be moved or anything, so she's not poseable, but you can't really expect that for like a tiny doll. And then she's got a really cute little face, blonde hair that is a little bit messy. Should we try the comb? Oh, this comb is so small but it actually works so it is a little bit like knotty and straw like and then she's got a little blue like tiara and blue in her hair as well which is so cute she's just adorable so what else do we have so we also have what looks like a little stand so yeah remember it said doll can't stand on her own so I don't know if we can unclip this so we've got like this little stand here and I'm just wondering if we can clip something into it to like hold her up I don't know if that comes out or how this works do you just put her leg through it so I'm just trying to see if we can put her leg through the stand there we go and then I'm assuming that will like sort of assist her to stand up yeah, so it sort of just clips around her leg and then I'm assuming on a flat surface, let me just try on the table. Yeah, and then it will stand. So that's really cool. So you can either have her like that or we can hook her. So yet again, I think this is going to hook more around her waist. We can hook her in here. There we go. How cute is that? So it's a little bit fiddly, but it does work. So yeah, I really like her. She's so cute. It's just a shame about her hair. It feels... Do you know, it almost feels like it's got some sort of like spray or gel on it. I'm not sure if that's the case or if it's just like, you know, because it's old or what. But I might even like just try to put a bit of water on it, see if I can sort of... Although I've just given it a brush, that does look a little bit better. So we have still got, I think probably because it's just been curled up to like sort of have that style. So you can probably just style it a bit with your hands. But yeah, that is really cute. I do like her. Um... Yes, that's so sweet. And then, like I said, so we just get this. I suppose this is just a little extra for like the kid or whatever. Um, so just a little extra ring, and then the little comb as well. So that's really cute. So yeah, I really like it. Um, so like with some of these, um, obviously the shoe ones are a bit different, but a lot of these actually come with like the cases. So like the ones we saw here is actually like a plastic, almost like a compact. So you open it up and the doll can fit inside. So I'd definitely love to pick up like some of those to have a look at those. I think that'd be so cute. So you can actually like store her inside it rather than her just being open like this. Although that's, you know, cute as well. So I definitely want to, you know, have a look out for some of these because they're so sweet. And I think with those ones, you can like hook charms off. So you see here, that's very small, but there's like little charms hanging off and stuff like that. So that's so awesome. Cool. So I love the little checklist. And yeah, I really like her. I think she's such a sweetie. So this is really awesome. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Please give me a like if you enjoy watching this different unboxing today. And let me know if you've ever heard of these dolls. Um, like I said, I'd never even heard of them. But like I said, they come under like lots of different names. Or there's very like similar miniature Barbies. And I think they're all so cute. And I'd love to get some more. Um, so yeah, please subscribe if you do want to see more toy videos, more unboxings, hauls, all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.